Hugging Chat is an open source chat platform created by Hugging Face. And currently it supports Llama 2 model and also the one from Open Assistant. And if you read about the Hugging Chat, their intention is to surface other open source large language model from their platform and integrate it into the Hugging Chat. And in this particular tutorial, I am going to show you how you could use the unofficial Python library that interfaces with the Hugging Chat API. And a point of note here is that you'll need to have the Hugging Face login credentials in order to access the Hug Chat library. And that I created previously a blog post about how you could build your own LLM powered chatbot with Streamlit in Python using the unofficial Hugging Chat API, which is the Hug Chat library. So let's see. For you to install it, you need to do pip install Hug Chat. And I'll show you in more detail in the Colab notebook tutorial in a few moments. And I also had created this Hug Chat Trailhead app in this blog post that I've mentioned. And you could also play around with this as well, where you could provide your own login credentials in the sidebar menu here. And then here we have the how to use Hug Chat, the unofficial Hugging Chat API. And I'll add it here in Python. I'll take that out and I'll just say it below. Hug chat is an unofficial and this should be in the about. Let's have a about, not the code, but an about section. Style it a little bit. So I'm providing all of this as a free tutorial and it would be greatly appreciated if you could share to your friends and subscribe to the channel. And did I mention that there is also a members where you could subscribe if you find the tutorials on the channel helpful. And as always, there's no pressure and I'll still always create free tutorials on YouTube. And so let's begin here. We'll start by installing the prerequisite library. So we're going to do pip install and then hug chat. And then as the time of the filming of this tutorial, hug chat 0.1.0 is the latest version and it's working. And we have python env for handling our login credential secrets. And so let's install it. These are from prior runs. So we're connecting a new notebook instance here. And then we're going to perform the installation again. Give it some time. All right. And Hug Chat is installed together with the Python dot environment. Next, we're going to load the Hugging Face credentials. So we're going to do from dot environment import dot environment values. Firstly, we're going to upload the ENV file with the login credentials. So I'll open here. I have it here and I'll just drag and drop it and it's uploaded. So let me show you how it looks like. If you go to the Hug Chat repository in GitHub and click on Notebook, you see here that this particular Colat Notebook is provided in this subfolder on Hug Chat repo, a Data Professor channel here, account on GitHub. And then we have the environment file. So essentially, we're going to have two lines. The first one is the email, and then the second one is the password. So these two are your login credentials. But a point of note here is that I'm sharing this publicly because it does not contain any username or password. But in your own projects, do not, I repeat, do not share your login credentials publicly in a notebook. Keep it locally in your own computer. Don't upload it publicly. And let's head over back to the notebook here. And so we see that the environment file is already uploaded. Now we're going to load in the secrets. Okay. The contents of the file will be loaded into the secrets here. And then we're going to access it by specifying email and specifying password. And then we're assigning it to the two variables here, hf underscore email, hf underscore pass. All right. And now we're going to proceed to the LLM response generation. So we're going to import the hug chat function from the hug chat library. And we're going to import the login function here from the hugchat.login. Let's run it. Now we're going to create our own custom function. So we're going to call it generate response. And then we're going to have three input parameters here. The first one will be the prompt. The second one will be the email and the password, which are the ones that we had defined earlier on. So we're going to use the email and password here as the input parameters for the login method. 
and then we're going to assign that to sign. Then we're going to use sign.login and then we're going to assign it to cookies. Then we're going to use cookies.getDictionary and then assign it to the cookies input parameter here of the hubchat.chatbot, which is the chatbot instance that we assign to the chatbot variable. Finally, we're going to return the output by calling the chatbot.chat function and then as input parameter, we're going to use the prompt input. Let's run this custom function and now we're going to perform the actual LLM response generation. We're going to have two lines here. The first line, we're going to create a variable called prompt. And then as the value, we're going to create our prompt, which is what is Trimlet. And then the response variable here, which we'll create, will leverage the generate response function we, we generated or defined earlier on here. And then we're going to put in the input parameter to be prompt, which is the one that we defined here. And then the issue of email and the issue of pass, which we've defined earlier on here. And now we're good to go and generate the response. So run it. Wrong username or password. Oh, okay, I think I forgot to modify the contents to be the actual email and password. So why don't I do that first? And now I'm going to upload it again. And this time with the actual login credentials, not the one with the placeholder that I've shown you in GitHub. And it should be working now. Let's run it again. Oh, okay, I need to run this line again, sorry. I need to load in it again, load this again. So we run the two cells where we import the environment variables and then we define it to the two variables here, HF email and HF password, and it should work now. Let's do it. All right, and it'll seem to be working now. Give us some time for the generation and the response. Let me delete this from the prior run. Let's run the response variable. And here it is, the generated response. Trimlet is an open source web UI library for Python that allows you to quickly create simple user interfaces using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, so relatively easy to use this free and open source Python library in order to access the large language model from Hugging Chat. And then you could use this right inside your Python environment. And so let me know in the comment section down below how you intend to use this for your own project. And also if you have any great ideas for a future tutorial, drop them down in the comment section. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.